Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more to share our video anywhere you see it. Share it and subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, kindly press your subscribe button. At this point, we have over 400 videos on our channel. It means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice, any topic, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Just in case you want to reach us, you can comment below or you make use of this line. Now, with this line, you can do three things. You can call us, you can WhatsApp us, and Telegram is allowed also. On this video, I'll be walking you through on latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude. Outline of this video, I'll be working on units of measurement, distance along great circle, distance along small circle. Now, it means I'll be having three videos, okay, and um, uh, examples or problems. Problems on latitude and longitude now this will produce me this one will give me one video second video third video and fourth video it means i'll be having uh three i mean four videos on this uh latitude and longitude by the end of this uh by the end of this you will understand it better than i do you'll be able to handle any question on mathematics and mind you don't forget that this part of uh, latitude and longitude is very very common in on exam uh, i mean on examination um on, a, on, on exams you know like what heck all these advanced uh, all these exams is very very common the question is very common there it means after this video you will understand the concepts behind uh, latitude and longitude now let's start from that of 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 latitude now let's start from the first one which is the measurement and units now before i talk about measurement and units you must understand some things very well the first thing you need to understand you need to understand what is called um um length of an arc length of an arc now length of an arc we all know under our circle that um, which is equals to theta all over 360 pi r 2 pi half that is length of an arc don't forget that this length of an arc anytime we are talking about uh, latitude and longitude we'll be talking about else We'll be talking about health and we all know what health is talk is all about now the health the health is perical in shape is perical in shape now what do i mean by perical in shape we'll be talking about something like this oh I don't draw my circle very well. Now, this is spherical shape. Like orange shape. That is what I'm trying to work on. Now, this is how it always be. You hold like this. Now, here we call it Okay, that is what I mean by spherical shape. Now, when we talk about this thing, this we call it equator. Equator. Now, we call it equator, and um, we call this one, uh, we call it green witch. Uh, green witch. Green witch. Yes, Greenwich Meridian. Now, don't forget Greenwich Meridian Equator. 
That is very, very important. These are the very important things you know. And you must be able to get the cardinal canality, which is, we call this south, we call this north, we call it um, west, and we call this uh, east. Don't forget. Now, north pole, south pole, west pole, and I mean, we have north pole and south pole. Take note of that. Very, very important. Now, with what I've explained here, you know, because of we are talking about a on straight line, a, a curve line, that is why this particular formula is very, very important, which is called length of an hack. We have done that in our circle, you know, circle theorem and other things. Now, this is what we are referring to as what health is spherical in shape. Now, if you got, can get something that is spherical. Okay, by having this, this is a very good example of spherical. Orange is one example of spherical shape because, you know, can you see? That is what I mean by spherical shape. Okay, for instance, let's move on to the next. Okay, before I continue, let me quickly explain what is called great circle and small circle. Great circle and small circle. Very, very important. Now, when we hear a word, when get across a word great circle and uh, small circle now great circle is just like um, we are talking about something like this now this we have um, we have something like um, Wait on and uh, we have green meridian and um, we have sorry my don't mind my hand sorry I have to draw at this point Now, if I have something like this here, now that is great circle. Why small circle? My small circle is always like this. Now, when I have something like this, something like this, yes. And also, I have something like this, something like this. Now, this is small circle. This one is called small circle. This one is called a um, great circle. Please take note of this. Very, very important. Now, okay, now, let me now come and explain unit of measurement. Unit of measurement. Now, if I'm talking about unit of measurement, units of measurement. Now, if I'm talking about measuring unit of measurement, what I want you to know is that, uh, okay, let me drop a question to explain this before I drop a question, let me quickly explain some things that are very, very important. Now, don't forget that we are talking about latitude and longitude. Now, degree, degrees and seconds. Now, for your information, latitude and longitude. Latitude is for timing, while longitude is for what? Location. But take note of that, which is under geography. We'll do more about that. Uh, the, uh, are the units of measure measurement. That is measurement latitude is 
from 0 degree to 90 degree south or north. Why? Longitude is from 0 degree to 180 degree east or west. Okay, and take note of this very well. Take note of this very well. Now, if I have a circle like this, this one is latitude. This one is lat. Let me put this one as longitude, longitude, and let me put this one as latitude. Now, take note of this very well. Now, what I want you to understand is. If I have this is my location, I'm just locating my, my point. Now, for instance, I have something like this. I have something like this. I have, please take note of this point very well because everything we'll be doing on this video lies on this. That's why I have to take my time to explain very well. Now, what I want you to understand is that here, here is, I can be 60 degree west. This can be 30 degree west. Now, west part, because I've told you earlier that longitude is on what? East and west. Now, why this can be, um, here can be 30 degree east, and here can be uh, 60 degree east. Now, it, this is eastern east part, this is west part. Can you see here is west, west, and east. Now, let me now talk about the latitude. Now, the latitude part, we'll be talking about if we have equator here, equator, we all know that it's always is zero. Don't forget that. Now, if my equator is coming up, and here and here now before we we are before i continue this one is um this can be 80 degree north and this can be uh let me use a number like 60 degree north that is for north and here can also be Now, this can be 80 degree south and, and 60 degree south. Can you see how it is? Please take note of this or what I've been explaining because everything we have to do on this video lies on this. Take note of it very well. Don't forget, I mean west, south, and the latitude will be on what? north and um, south, west and east. Take note of this very, very well. Now, let me, before I cut off this part, let me try to show one or two examples for illustration purpose. Now, Okay, look at this question. Find the angular distance between A and B. The content in A, A is 40 degree north and 65 degree east. B is 35 degree south and 65 degree east. Solution to this problem. Now, anytime we have something like this, think, don't just rush in. Now, let me just direct my words, my heart. That is first thing I will do. The next thing I will do is that, uh, oh, I'm talking about 65, 65, and this is 40. 
Now, this is not. I can see that this one is 40. 40 degree north and also um, 35, which I can say that um, this also would be what? 35. 35 degree south. That is very, very important thing to do. Now, don't forget that our equator, which is very, very important, and your meridian. Now, the next thing I will do is that 65 degree east. This is west. This side is west. And this one is what? East. Now, I'm talking about 65 degree east. Now, that is all about that. Now, I will now point on this point. I'm point on this line. That is the distance we are looking forward for. That is distance we are talking about. It means the distance is here and here. That is the distance. Now, if we are talking about um, now angular distance, which is we normally call it theta, angular distance equals to 40 plus. 35, which it will be equals to 75, 75 degree, 75 degree, that is the angular distance. Why am I adding it? This is north, this is south. As we they are south, south, if they are south, south, it will be subtracted. If they are not, not, it will be subtracted. Like, we are talking about something like this here, it will be subtracted. Because we are talking about different location. <coughs> Is it is in different location? That is why we are adding it now. <coughs> different location add, please let me write it down. Different note, different location, location add. Oh, now like South Egypt. Uh, north and south. Now the same, the same location subtract, subtract, subtract like north and north. Take note of that. That is what I mean by that statement. Now, let me show one more of two examples before I hear this part. Now, before I hear this part, let me show one or more example. Now, look at this problem. Okay. Okay, look at this problem. Okay, look at this question. Find the angular distance between x and y. Now, x contains 60 degree north, comma, 20 degree west. And y contains 40 degree north and uh, 20 degree uh, west. Can you see that this one of this one has interpret what I was explaining earlier. Now let me quickly draw out. What I will just do is that um, I will draw. The first thing I will notice, note out is this, which they are representing the what, the meridian and green meridian and uh, equator. Now I'm talking about um, sixty degree north. My 60 degree north will be somewhere here. 60 degree, 60 degree north. It can also be here, not a problem. You can also put it there. There won't be any issue. Now, and also to a 40 degree north. 40 degree north. I can also write it there. 40 degree north. That should not be a problem. Now, that is very perfect. The next thing 
we are talking about a 20 degree on them. 20 degree west, 20 degree. Now, my 20 degree will be around here. Now, it will be around here. It means the first thing I will do, distance on this and distance on this, bound. I have it like this. Now, I'll be like this. Now, that is all. That is all. Now, it means here will be hex, and this will be what? Y. That is all. That is all. It means what I will just do is that if I want to do it very well, I can redraw it, which I will have no problem. It's possible to redraw it, and I have uh, 60. This one will be 60 degree, and this one will be. And this one will be uh, 40 degree. Degree, degree. Now, it means to get what I need is that term. Now, angular distance, angular distance will be equals to. 60 minus 40, which is equal to 20 degree. That is all. That is all. That is all about that. Now, before I end this section, let me try to put one more question for better understanding. <coughs> now, look at this question. <coughs> Look at this question. It's a very simple one, but let's see how it goes. P and Q are two plays on the same circle of the latitude 70, 79 degree south. P is on latitude 68 degree east. Y Q is on latitude, I mean latitude 22 degree west. The angular, the angular distance between P and Q is A12, B45, C48, D90, E92. Now, let's try to work on this thing and end here. Now, you can see that uh, you understand the measurement on, uh, on, on latitude and latitude on the health now. Now, the first thing we do, let's try to work on around the shape. Take note of this first thing. Now I will generate. Okay, this will be what our equator, which we all know that. Um, now the first thing you have to understand is P and Q. P and Q. <coughs> we are talking about P and Q. Take note of that. 22 degree west and 48 degree east. This and this will tell me that this one will be what? 22 degree west and this one will be what? 68 degree east. Take note of that. Very, very important. Now, the first thing, the next thing we are to work on, decide that the two big are placed on this at okay, 79 degree south. This should be my south, which is 79. Now I will call it 79 degree south. Now this is talking about what P and Q. This one will be your what? Your Q. And this place will be your what? Your P. That is all. That is all you want to find. That's all. Now, from here, I can now generate whatever I need to find, which I can now say that um, we all know that uh, this will be that's all. Now, we are talking about different things. It means I'll be talking about 22 plus 68 
which is my angular distance. My angular distance, my angular distance will be equals to, let me write it very well, my angular distance equals to what? 22 plus 68, which is equals to 22 and 50, that will be 90 degree which is 90 degree, which is our answer is D. You can make this in your exam because this is positive, I mean, one of the positive uh, positive uh, ME exam, whatever like that. Okay, that's all about that. Don't forget you are home with further solutions, Academy. Further solutions, Academy. Once again, thanks for watching.